This 14-year-old woman was in tears after her mother had lied to her all her life about who her real father was, but watch what happens when the DNA results come out and reveal the truth. Ms. Curtis, you have brought your mother, Ms. Hall, to court today because you say she hid the identity of your father from you for 14 years. And Ms. Hall, you admit you let your daughter believe that the man who raised her was her father, knowing that it was a lie. Yes, Your Honor. I did not tell my daughter at a young age about who her father was. Simply one, because I was a young girl, I was pregnant. When I was 15, I met Kirk. And Kirk lived a pretty much like a fast lifestyle. Okay. And you know, which attracted me to him. I wound up meeting another guy, which was the alleged father that I told her that was her father. And I knew one day that I would have to sit up real down and talk to her and let her know who her father is. The time that I set forth for her was at the age of 16. I always wanted a brill to understand that I was young. I made a mistake. I didn't want her to be a victim of that. I don't care what she say. I wanted a dad. I've always wanted a dad. I didn't even go to the prom because I don't know how to dance. I don't know how to do anything that my father should have taught me. You have the right to feel the way that you because feel. Because of you and putting me through all of this, I don't want kids. Because I want no possible chance that my kids have to live without a dad. Mr. Whitaker, thank you so much for joining us. Now, do you believe you're Miss Curtis's father? Well, Your Honor, I'm actually somewhat doubtful. When Tamika initially told me, hey, uh, I'm pregnant, uh, you're the father. But as I remember, she was also in a relationship with someone else. So you're saying she told you she was pregnant, you thinking to yourself, it could easily be someone else, not me. <laughs> of course. I think it's time we have the results. In the case of Curtis versus Hall, when it comes to 22-year-old Abrel Curtis, Mr. Whitaker, you are her father.